Mighty Swift Force Hyperdrive Edition. Ha <laughs> ha! More like Mighty Tits Force, am I right? Ha! Uh, I'm the only one here. And I'm sorry. Everybody, welcome to the first hour where we, Chatcast, bring you the first hour of your gaming experience. It's about giving you a review of the total experience and more of what kind of challenges you can expect from early on. You know, without spoiling too much. Uh, now let's get to our first game, Mighty Switch Force. Although Mighty Switch Force isn't the most popular game in the world, I've always liked platformers. And I figure Mighty Switch Force would be, you know, a good start to our first episode. Game, Mighty Switch Force. <laughs> Let me start off by saying that this game is no Mega Man. And as far as platforming goes, it's pretty easy, even for novices like myself. I mean, in the first hour, I got through the first 10 levels, and this game is not is probably not even 20. Um, the only real hardships were caused by my own personal, you know, screw-ups and mistakes and miscalculations. Uh, you know, like missing jumps, accidentally cutting myself because I'm a invisible block that you don't see coming and collide with the last moment because you know you know, it's so faint how do you notice it sometimes it's so weird um <clears throat> sorry about that uh you know most of the mobs don't provide any significant challenge at all like in fact the like i said pretty easy and i really can't state that enough um, it's because of this easiness though that it can be played over and over again to get better time. This game, without a doubt, it's meant for speedrunners. Uh, and one of the cool aspects is the game's ability to, you know, add new, is to add upon its challenges without adding power-ups or new, um, equipment to tutor you on. Uh, one of my favorite levels, which is, I believe, .08, uh, it was, it allowed red and blue blocks that you can uh, change, like if you step on them, you, when you change the scene, it doesn't actually change. It's interesting, you have to see it. I believe I probably would put it up. Um, and although this, this is the first level I came across them, uh, as of this recording, I don't think I've actually seen them again. Uh, that could change, I haven't, oh, excuse me. And like I said, many of their challenges compound on themselves. So they're really good and really cool. Although that being said, uh, they're, the drawbacks are pretty simple. I mean, there really isn't much plot. I mean, you go around playing as an off a cyborg police officer named Patricia Wagon, and that's about it. Uh, you also don't get much you know, story. And everything I got was at, like this that her name Patricia Wagon is from the Wikipedia page. I mean, not only is this game incredibly short, I mean, granted it was, you know, a 3DS game, so I can't be too mad at it, but at the same time, I did horrible, and I completed two-thirds of the game in an hour. Uh, you know, that being said, you know, that's... I like the game, but even the music got really repetitive after like the first 15 minutes or so and so I decided to mute it like after 30 minutes of yeah and yummy you know it it, it got a little tiresome but all that being said uh, I really did like I, I really did fit I, I I really did like the game uh, even after the first hour it was pretty enjoyable Now, right now, as of right now, which is, you know, after the initial recording, I did actually finish Mighty Switch Force, which is actually how we're going to come to the conclusion of most of these shows, whether or not I decided to finish the game. And yes, yes, I decided to finish the game. I mean, it was too easy not to finish. Plus, it's a really fun and casual platformer that you can, you know, crank out every now and then. Uh, it's, it's definitely worth the money I spent on it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the first ever first hour. Wow, that's a lot of firsts. I hope that you liked it because I worked, you know, pretty hard on it. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that we can infect others with our chat cattiness. Wait, chat cattiness?
check, check, caddy, check, check, catanaciousness, no, chatadocious, no, Cat chatadocious, no, that's, that's, that's not right, I don't, I don't want that, chatterness, chatterness, what are we gonna call ourselves, you know what, leave a comment down below what we should call ourselves, or call you guys, the people who have decided to stick with us for so long, you know, who've really been there since the beginning. Uh, later!